Hey guys, it's Anthony Pascala here. Today I'm going to do some coding with you guys and a bit of an intro with Unity. So what I have done here is I, I have made a new project for these. Um, it's going to be a, a general channel but it's going to be making the game. I don't know if you guys know but it's called Cookie Clicker. I can show you if you want me to. Just go... As you can see, when you click on it, get get some clicks and got all this this writing and all this. We're in this video. We're not going to go too deep into the coding, but at the moment, uh, overall, we'll probably just get this bit here, just the text and when you click. And all we have to do is make a new project. I'm not, not going to use any scripts from the internet, or I'll probably use some assets from the asset store, which I think is, I think it's, the, it's one of those, um, when you click on it, a particle comes up, and it, yeah. We can always make it ourselves, but it's always easier just to go to the asset store. This is going to be a quick way to make games like this, so what I have done is I've just left it all to default, I haven't touched anything so we're gonna go, I'm not gonna make this tutorial for people that don't understand the commands and not commands, but more like the controls of looking around as if you press 2 it goes into this type of view alright well, well first of all you have to have the program installed and you have to install minor development or any editing program Personally, I also use Notepad++. I used to use this, and then I found it a lot easier. I was making a different thing before, so I'll just close this. And I used to use this, but the problem is I, with this is um, the thing that I used to use. The why reason I changed was because when I installed Unity, it came with the mono development. So I thought, you know, I'll just keep it like that because it's all set up. And all opens all the JavaScript files into that, but, and I like the editing of it. So now we're just gonna get into the game. The first thing you do is you go to your camera, press F so it finds it if you in a different spot, and then what you do is you game object, create other, and plane. Now the plane will be horizontal. So we have to rotate it to a vertical axis. We'll change that to 90 degrees. Oh shit, wrong thing. X to 90 degrees. As you can see, the plane is only on one side and we want to change that. So what we do, we put a negative in front. As you can see, the plane has changed. Now if we drag the plane further back, it will start to appear on this camera. Just bring the camera a little bit further. Yeah, there you go. As you can see, we have a perfect plane. You don't need this plane in the background unless you want a background to be there. I personally don't, so I would leave. I can leave it or I have to leave it, but I'll just leave it for this sake. But what you can also do is change the color if you want just the color of background. So just delete the plane, and if you have a look, you've got a colored background. As you can see different from the original color. Now it's the coding. So we created a JavaScript because if you guys want to learn how to play, do JavaScript that I'll teach you. But, um, just follow these steps and you'll slowly learn. So I'm going to call this main because it's going to be my main script where all the main controls are. So open it up and we're first going to start off with setting our variables. Now these variables are used for accessing, for the pro program to access where it's like a library. So this is sort of the source. So we do new variable and we're going to call this one clicks. This is the amount of, this is going to be a, oh, what's this one going to be? We'll make this, a, a, make it a game object. 
Now with Unity, in these this is completely different. Well, it's not completely different. It's sort of the same script, but it's different to scripts like JavaScript for different softwares. So Unity has its own thing. For example, you'll see this here. And if you want to select multiple um, objects, what you have to do is you just put these two brackets in the wrong brackets. My bad. Put these two brackets here. This means to telling the program, okay, if I save this if, and I drag this onto my main camera, I can go clicks and I can have, I don't know, eight for example, and I can choose eight different game objects. Or I can have one, it doesn't matter. But if I get rid of those brackets, it's telling the program I only want one, I don't want any more. And that's what we're going to have for this thing. So once we have done that, we have started tiny, a tiny bit of code. I'm going to put a cube right in front of the camera. Then we'll click on the script and we'll drag it over the cube, or you can remove it and put it on the cube. What you do here is you choose the game object, you drag the cube over here. Once this is done, you then go back to your script. I would also want to show you guys. Because this is an intro, it's not really getting too much into the code. I want to show you this. If you do transform, it's also another thing you can do. This means it will choose anything that has been selected in here. So I have the cube in the main camera. If I am to create another, I don't know, camera to create other, let's create a, a cylinder. Okay. If I go to my cube script, I choose one, the cylinder now appears. So what I'm going to do with choosing the cube is that if, because if you have a look at clicky, oh, can't even talk, cookie clicker, if you click that, it comes up with a score, right? So this is what my cube does. The cube is going to be the cookie, but it's not, it's not actually literally going to, it's going to be it, but it's not going to have that texture. It's going to have your texture of your choice. And what you do is you just, you just put it on there, you choose the cube, and then once you've done the cube, we go back to coding. So if I go, if I type in var text, or we'll call it score, and then we go GUI text, capitals are important in this, you can't not have capitals because it is case sensitivity. Sensitive. Sorry. We'll make another bar and we'll call this one clip. And then we do the colon boolean. Now this means is it true or false? And we're going to set that to false. Hate it when it does that. Alright, so this should set us a tiny just get us started for a few videos, maybe no, just maybe a few videos. Yeah. Okay, this is what we want to do now. We want to make a new function and call it on with a capital O, capital N, mouse, click, uh, mouse down with a capital D. Then we do the two brackets, a squiggly like bracket and another squiggly bracket. This means when you click on the the cube here something in these brackets will happen. For example, what I want to make is score.text equals, I'm going to call it clicks, because, and then space, that space, equals, right, plus, and then we have to make well, no, we have to make a boolean here, and not a boolean, we have to make a an int here, which we're going to call click. Don't think we have a click? Yeah, we don't. Okay, I'm going to call this one int equals zero. And just save that, make sure you save. And then plus click. Now what this does, if we drag that up, Press Control X and Control V. I'll put that in update. What this does here means that every frame per second, 
score will be shown all the time. It won't stop. It will just keep going every time. Now, what we want to do here is we're going to go click plus plus one and plus equals one. What this will do, this means that when I click the mouse, click equals one, so that this this score text will say clicks plus one. If the, if I don't click, it will say clicks plus zero. And if I keep clicking, it'll say the amount of clicks that I've clicked. So what we have to do is we have to go to our game, game object, create other, GUI text. Where is that? Right there. And what I like to do is just drag it over. Just scroll and find it, and then bring it closer and drag it over. And I usually like to have it above the cube. Personally, I think that's the best spot to have it. You can have it anywhere you want. You just choose what you want. All right, now that we've got our text, I'm going to call this one score. Now, don't worry about any of this unless you want to change the color of the font. So I'm just going to leave it for now. So we go Q. We go to our score, and we choose score. If you come. If we play it, it should say score. All right, the um, you have to bring the GUI texture to a point where it says where you can see the. It's a hard thing to do at times. I'll put this all to zero. Go to the cube. One. Okay, we'll do this. We'll copy what the score says. There we go. As you can see, it's slightly coming over. Just drag it over a little bit. Drag it down. Now, when you stop playing, the whole thing resets. So what I do is I right click on it, copy component, I cancel the play, and I go paste component values. This will put the text in its exact position, as you can see. Now when I click, it'll say clicks and the amount. You can, if you don't want it to say clicks, all you have to do is change what is in here. Always leave, make sure you leave a gap because you don't want to have it so that it's together. But um, you can make it so it says score or whatever you want. Depends on what game you're trying to make. Just give it time for it to see. Now. We, this is just the basis, like all the, um, the colors and the textures and all the changes are going to be later on. But for now we're just getting used to the variables and the, the clicks and all this. You can see, score. And we can stop it and we can play it again. And score will be zero. Now, what I would also want to do, just to make it so it says click equals in zero, but there's always this always can be a problem. So what I do, never put this under update because if you put it under update, it will always stay like that. What you want to do to start is do click equals zero and save. Now what that means is every time I start the game, the click equals zero. It's pretty self-explanatory. But um, if I put it in update, as I said before, this shows this continues every frame. That means if I click on it, it's never gonna. This isn't gonna overrun. It's gonna add one, and then it's gonna go back to zero. It's just gonna keep doing that repetitively, so it will never show it adding one. Um, if you want to add a texture to the cube, don't drag it on there. What you what I usually do is I go add component, GI texture. And I choose a texture. I'll we'll try this. And then I disable the box. I change the mesh to none. As you can see, when I click, it's not there. But I can click where the where the box was and it will still be there. But if I go to the GI texture and move X to its point, I move Y down. As you can see, if I click on this. Anywhere on this picture, it adds a score. This texture is pretty big, so I can pretty much click anywhere. 
but that's how that works. So we go back to our cube and move this because we don't want the texture just yet. Now, as you can see, I have a clicked boolean if it's true or false. I'm going to use this for later on. Well, I actually, I don't think I'm going to need it, but I'll just leave it there just in case. So we can make a timer, but I'm not going to do that in this tutorial. I'll make that in the next tutorial. But um, for now, I don't know how long this video's gone for. 15 minutes, okay. That's pretty far enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just stop the video today for now and I'm gonna make another one for you guys probably after this, I'm not sure, maybe tomorrow because it is pretty late and I've got school tomorrow but I'll just pause, just stop this in a second but uh, yeah make sure you guys stay tuned and um, thank you guys for the views I think I've reached 300 now so um, as you can see I've reached 16 minutes uh, see you guys in the future videos I shouldn't, I'll probably upload maybe I'll try and upload once or twice, once or every one day or second day. Yeah, that's what I mean. Because I've got schoolwork and that's a pain in the ass at times. And um, right, see you guys. See you in the next video.